Welcome to Planter Garden TV. You know how it is. In the garden, just checking stuff out. No, walking, checking out, you know, them okros getting so tall and powerful. Eggplant, it's, everything is just growing nice. This eggplant growing, the okra them, the Brussels sprout, the kale, the kale is growing nice. This cabbage, you know, the worm really did some work on this cabbage. So all I did, I just break off the outer part and I'm looking at the inner part start coming back. I don't know if you notice, yeah. So the worm has gone. I use vinegar. Oh, you see? I got to get another spray. Because right here, look. See another worm right there. So I got to give another spray because I sprayed with the vinegar and what I noticed, all the worm disappear. So I stayed away for a few days and guess what? They start again. So the vinegar is working. It's just that I have to do it more, like at least every week in order to get progress. Okay. A little updates about these cabbage that I have harvest. I already harvest this cabbage and I break off the top and I break off the top and they come in right back. They come in right back. So these are the, these four cabbage and one here five, one here six. All of them coming back. So I will keep you updated updated I will keep you updated about the progress with these cabbage and show you what you can do with your cabbage after harvest after harvest time so you plant them all in like March April then after harvest you break off the top and just leave the bottom and it will just spring right back up. I already show you exactly what taking place here. Okay. These are small okra. These are Brussels sprout. You know, they had a hard time this year. And I still see the pushing out, trying to survive. So now, I got to put a lot of attention to the to them to these plants right here. One, two, three, four, five. You see how they're looking like they're going through a hard time? I'm gonna put more care into them because I see although they had such a hard time, I see they're still trying. So what I'm gonna do today. This is very important, soften around the root. You see, it's really tough. It's really tough. So I'm gonna just soften around the root so the root can grow. So the plant now will able to do exactly what it needs to do which is producing. You see, the art is so tough. I, show, I have a video that you guys need to go and check out where I show you the trick to keep your plant producing even though there's no rain for a period of time. So you guys go and check that video out 
and you're gonna definitely see the trick. But today is about the Brussels sprout that I see trying to produce. But now my attention, my attention goes to these plants right here. Not like I'm gonna forget the rest, but they show me that they need some care and that's exactly what I'm gonna give to them. Because like I said, no care, you wouldn't have this. Without the care, you would not harvest anything. So you see what I did? This is very important to a plant. Very important. Very important. Softening around the root listen me once you soften around that plant root it will start to show you signs that it's happy it will start to show you appreciate it start to show you how much what you have done means to them you know so it's very important you know these are small okra but i show a video when i plant these okra and look how they come in along nice guys just check out check out my videos them and you're gonna see steps to step how to plant how to take care of and how to get results like these. Look how nice and powerful these okra are. And we don't use fertilizer. We just take care of the plant. You see the earth is so hard. But in order to produce you come for a few days, you clean the root, you clean around the root, and you soften it, you soften around the root, that the plant root could be able to spread. And what I'm gonna do, I have some water, I'm gonna just wet this Brussels sprout. Because I see they're trying and I'm going to do whatever it takes to make sure I harvest from them. Yeah, like I said, my, the channel of, my name of my channel is Plant a Garden TV. Go and check out my YouTube channel. Check my videos. You could go through all my videos. Check out my videos them. And I guarantee you, you're going to learn something from all my videos. Because I show you in the out. I show you when I'm getting problem with worms. I'm not just showing you the good times. I show you when I harvest. I show you when my plant is small. I show you when they grow up big. I show you everything, step by step. So if you go through my videos and start watching them, you're gonna see how to plant, how to maintain, how to clean the garden. Basically how to do everything you need to know about a garden because my garden look like 
somebody who know what they're doing. So that tells you something. So all you got to do is check out my videos. And you can also share. You can also subscribe. You know, I'm giving you a link. You know what? This is tomato that, you know. I keep harvesting tomato, I'm harvesting cucumber, I'm harvesting, you know, cherry pepper, I already harvest eggplant, I already harvest cabbage, you know, collard greens, pepper, okra, you just name it. Okay. I'm looking at this tree right here right now. I'm looking at these, how big and, you know, you could see they look like, yes, I'm still here. I'm looking at this one that look kind of quail. I don't know if it's how the sun come on the heat, but it look different than these. So my thing today is I'm going to throw some water around it because I believe it needs some water. So I'm gonna throw some water around it. And then when I come back, I'm gonna check it back in two days time. Then I will know if I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna know if I'm gonna lose it or if I need to pay more attention and keep watering it more. That's my dashing right there. Yeah. This now is a yam. I purchased this yam. And when I purchased it, this how it was the head was looking. So I cut off the head and I'm going to plant it. Who knows? Maybe I might be lucky to be able to eat some yam this year. And who knows, maybe next year, it might be able to come back. So I'm going to plant it anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to get my fork and I'm going to plant this yam plant. These are the okra. I, show, I have a video with how to plant okra and these are the results so far from these okra that I plant. They was very small but look the size of them now. These same okra. I show you guys how to plant okra. Yeah so please check out my videos them. and share my videos then. I'm going for the fork because I need to dig a hole because I want to plant this, this yam. You know, the sweet pepper them. You know, I show you guys all the time. If you guys, you guys could comment and we could reason about, you know, you could ask question. I will gladly answer them. You could ask me question about how I do this, what I do, you know, and I, I, you know, I gladly share some information with you. Okay, this the the yam, and I'm going and dig a hole. Where should I dig the hole? Okay, I'm gonna dig it down here, cause yam run on a vines. So I'm gonna dig it here for now. Okay, let me see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm digging a hole here to plant a yam plant.
crossing my fingers that I might be able to eat some yam this year or if not next year. Okay, that's a hole right there, and let me get the yam now. Okay. These are some, um, these are fruit trees. You know, don't forget to plant your fruit trees. Okay, so this is my yam hole right here. So uh, what I wanna do, this is the hole. So I'm gonna plant it in there. And then from time to time, when it start growing, I start to saw for widen, you know, widen around it. You know, widen around it so like it have room to um grow. You see, I put it with the head facing up. So I, I'm just cover it. I just cover it and just leave it here. Yeah, so that's my yam and that's how I plant my yam. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share.